Salutations and good morrow everyone and welcome back to another Grounded Update video where today we are hopping in and we are talking upgrade materials. You guys have been asking me to make a video to show you guys a couple quick early locations of some of those sturdy or even brittle wet stones and marble pieces so that way you guys can go through and make your plating and your wet stones and all of those things to be able to do weapon and armor upgrading early game. So I'm here today to show you guys four different locations where you guys can get these things very early in game. Now, some of them do require a little bit more effort than others, but I'm going to start with one of the easiest ones that you guys can go and get pretty much right away in the beginning of the game, as long as you guys have a pebblet hammer. So where we're actually going today, I've marked it on the map, is we are actually going to be going right over here into the Clover Cave, okay? The Clover Cave has not only the four-leaf clover that allows you to get the first part of the Coup de Grasse perk, but it also has some upgrade materials in there. So as long as you guys come over here and swim through quickly and don't pause, you shouldn't even need a guild tube to come in here. But I would suggest you guys wait till your stamina is full. So what you want to do is you want to hop right in here, swim all the way down the hole. It's going to get very, very dark. Keep on swimming, following it all the way down. Keep on going, just swim towards the light. Okay, there is a scabby there. If you want to grab it, you can. But make your way up over here and then out you go. And here we go. Here is the four leaf clover that gives you the coup de grasse. But all around you have brittle quartzite. You have some supreme quartzite in here. We'll uh, throw on a torch here so we can see a little bit better. Some supreme quartzite, a supreme marble right there, guys. There is a brittle quartzite right there, a brittle marble, another brittle marble, so that's enough to do at least one armor upgrade right there, and one weapon upgrade right there. No problem. Probably multiple weapon upgrades. And the supreme quartzite, you may need a tier 3 hammer to break it, but it's a great location for you guys to be able to go through and find where some of these Supreme Court site locations are. But let's head over to point B where you're going to need a bomb for point B. All right, guys, so here we are at point B. Point B is right in front of the back entrance to the Larva Cave. Now, the Larva Cave is smack right here in the middle of the yard, if you guys want to go there and find it. And in order to get in here, you will need a bombs in order to light up and blow out some of the rocks that are in here for you guys to find these upgrade materials. But as you come in here, I'm currently playing in just a creative game, so there are no Larva in here. There is going to be a ton of Larva that are in this area right here. But as you walk through, there's a couple brittle marble shards and a couple quartzite shards on the ground that you can go ahead and pick up. Work your way down here and there'll be another rock that you're going to have to blow out. But if you do that, you'll start to get to a point where there's some sturdy marbles around, some sturdy quartzite. There's another brittle marble for you to go ahead and get. If you go down this little area that's right over here underneath the water, if you have a dagger, you can go ahead and cut that open and get that uh, super milk molar piece but you could also grab the gunmetal scabby from right there. It's a fantastic scabby if that's one that you guys want. And then just going on over this way, if we come back op over here and you walk around the other way instead of going into that water, there should be another rock that's right over here, but that leads to another brittle quartzite, and there is some acorns and a rock that block this way, where you end up in Spade Gulch. So, this is another great early location. The only thing you have to deal with is a bunch of mites, but if you guys run over to the hedge and cut open some of those uh, spiderling sacks, and grab the gas sacks that are in there for the stink bugs. You can make yourself a couple of gas arrows and shoot them down into the cave, making that cave super, super easy. So just go ahead and do that if you guys are having a little bit of a problem with the larva cave. Let's head over to point C where we could talk about ants because C is definitely for ants. For all of you who are out there wondering where point C is, it definitely is the Red Ant Hill. Now, the Red Ant Hill, the reason why I held off and made this number three, even though it has a bunch of upgrade materials in there, is because you will need ant armor in order to come in here so you don't die from getting killed by the ants. Now, technically, the worker ants will not kill you. It's just the soldier ants. But as soon as you start fighting a soldier ant, it kind of just compounds from there. But nonetheless, if you guys can craft a set of ant gear that makes this hill super 
super easy to be able to come in here and get yourself some upgrade materials. Now, please note, yes, I am on a creative game, so there is no ants in here right now, but normally this place is chock full of them. But as you walk around, you're going to start finding a bunch of different upgrade materials around in here, especially in the larger, more open chambers where you can go down and actually find pieces that are all around. So there's a brittle marble shard right there. There's a milk molar right over there. And if you guys walk back into other larger rooms as well, there's actual harvestable resource nodes for you to be able to get. Like here's a brittle marble that's right there. Coming back over here, there's another brittle marble right there. There's some brittle quartzite all around. Here's an ant egg if you so want it, even though that has nothing to do with what we're talking about right now. Up here, you guys can grab some rotten armor if you want it, even though you don't really need that. But yeah, so there's all sorts of different areas within these chambers that you guys can go and grab scabbies and get all of the harvestable materials that you can. There's some quartzite in there, and really, that's really going to help you guys with all of your upgrading that I know that you all want to do for all your armor and weapons. But this is just the start, guys. There's still two other locations, even though I promised four. Uh, there still is two other locations that I do want to go through with you guys, but I do want to make a pause before we hit location number four and talk about uh, the, the, the fifth location. Okay guys, so this next location that I'm standing in front of right now is quite possibly the most lucrative location for you guys to be able to go through to get upgrade materials early in game. The only tricky thing with it is you are going to need a gas mask in order to get it. I've marked it with a skull on my banner and I didn't call it an early game location per se as one of my four main ones because you do need a gas mask and there's a lot of infected creatures in here and it is quite difficult to run around in here. So I wouldn't call it early game, but mid game, nonetheless, a fantastic location for you to come and get a bunch of upgrade materials. As you run around in here, I mean, look at that. I'm already running into a couple of them. There's another one right there. I mean, it is just a smorgasbord of having a ton of different upgrade node uh, modules for you to go and harvest. I mean, there's another brittle marble right there. There's another brittle marble right there there. There's a stink bug that's right there that you can go ahead and harvest. There's all sorts of upgrade materials all around. Super milk molars. Guys, if you can just get an insect hammer, if you come in here, you're going to be able to get all sorts of very nice things for you to use in game for upgrading and also getting your characters back upgraded as well. Now we're going to run over to location four, even though technically this is location five, but we'll call it location four. And it is actually the mite cave. The mite cave doesn't have as much as the other ones and it does require a tier two hammer in order to harvest these resources but i thought we would start we'd leave it for the end anyway because technically if you get a weapon up to level five or armor up to level five you're gonna want these ones anyway so i thought it'd be good just to throw it in at the end here for you guys the might cave right over here if you come back in here it has two different resources in here it has one set of sturdy quartzite and one set of a sturdy marble as well as a scabby for you to go and pick up it's the might rider scabby it looks pretty good. But anyway, guys, that is the four locations with a bonus fifth one thrown in the middle video there uh, for you guys to go and find all of those upgrade pieces like quartzite and the marble so you guys can make the upgrade plates and the upgrade whetstones. I hope that this video was helpful. If it was, make sure you guys hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me a comment down below. And guys, please don't forget that these are early game locations. This is not every location, but thank you guys all so much. And as always, I'll see all of you guys in the next one.